Hello everyone, today I'm gonna to show you another piece from my collection. And I know that I do typically show my Disney collectibles. However, given the fantastic Halloween season that we have going on right now that is full of treats as well as tricks, I thought that I would sneak in another fandom. And what better character to sneak in to represent the Halloween season than the Wicked Witch of the West from The Wizard of Oz. And she is from the Couture de Force collection, which is basically a collection of figurines that are highly embellished and they have um, unique fashion elements added to their classic looks. Um, usually, usually like gemstones or feathers, carvings, glitter, so let's go ahead and zoom in to this fabulous figurine. And the Wicked Witch of the West is definitely not as we know her. She's, she's got a very fashionable upgrade. She's got a gorgeous face. I love how they made her pretty. So she's still got green eyes, green skin, but she has rosy cheeks. She's sporting some lipstick, some long lashes, and she's got a little beauty mark on her chin. Curly tendrils around her face. I love the raised eyebrow. And then she has this magnificent witch hat. It's just full of so many carved embellishment. She's got a pink ribbon around the brim of the hat. I love that the inside of the hat is purple. And then she's got a really pretty red glittery poppy on the, also on the brim of her hat. And it's supposed to represent the poppies from the movie that make Dorothy and the Scarecrow and Lion and Tin Man all fall asleep. And then there's a crow also on the brim of her hat and this really beautiful giant green feather. I love how big it is. And then she's also got this or, or these two stone gray ribbons rolling off of her hat. But my favorite part of the figurine is her dress. They just did an amazing, amazing job with all of the beautiful embellishments and the elevated fashion elements. I mean, it's just gorgeous. So the top of her dress looks like it's sheer because you can see her green skin underneath in some areas, which is a really nice creative touch. And it's got black, shiny floral pattern on it. I love the poppy brooch and it's got a chain that actually moves and then a little flying monkey. And her gown is, to me it looks like a gothic Victorian style gown. Um, I love the lacing and the purple color. And then it's even got like a lace trim. And then I love the, the layered skirt. And she kind of has this, this extra, looks like extra cloth wrapped around her dress. And I'll, I'll show you the back in a minute, but it's pinned in the back of her, which is really creative, really, really nice touch um, the back is amazing on this figurine I can't wait to show it to you guys but first let me show you this sequin black purse she's also wearing with an emerald gemstone and then the little wrap has floral carvings on it and then she's got a little black leather patent shoe with a poppy on the top And even her little fingernails are painted 
like a Barbie pink color, which is just such a cute added detail. And of course she's holding her witch's broom. And the broom has red ribbons with little blue orbs attached to it. And I think the blue orbs are supposed to be her crystal ball or reminiscent of her crystal ball. And then she's got more beautiful red poppies on the um, end of her little wrap. And let me just show you what I mean. So it looks like she has that wrap wrapped around her waist and then she's got these two pieces pinning it in the back which is so cute and I think that's a gothic Victorian look but look at all the layering I love the look of movement and all the folds in the skirt it just makes it look very lifelike and I love all of the beautiful poppies and just the carving is just so well done and of course the top of the dress again with the the sheer top and she has black buttons going down her back and more of those beautiful black shiny flowers and then the lacing and the purple color Her hair has like a witch's bun and then you can see more of the stone ribbons coming off of her hat and then more of that beautiful green feather. And there are just so many details. It's kind of hard for me to focus. I don't know which one to talk about first. <laughs> And this is her beautiful profile, all feathers. And I love her little pose, little sassy pose with her hand on her hip. And like I said, this witch just got the best makeover that she's ever had. Honestly, this is the best I've ever seen the Wicked Witch of the West. I'm in love with this figurine. Um, I think it came out in January of 2014, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so I believe it is retired. I've only been able to find it on eBay and Amazon and it's really hard to find. There's not a whole lot of these figurines out there. So you can imagine she's pretty pricey. Um, she does come with a Dorothy and a Glenda the Good Witch in this collection. Both of those are also really rare and hard to find and expensive. She is the only one that I have from the Wizard of Oz Couture de Force collection. I just thought, I just thought she was so beautifully embellished that I had to have her. I'm just in love with her Victorian dress. And I just, I love how they made her so pretty. But this is my Wicked Witch of the West from the Inesco Couture de Force collection. Thank you all for watching and I hope you're having a great Halloween season.